today we will be checking out Bruce on M5 stack. Many of you requested this, so we're just going to do it today. So you have a menu which you can scroll through with this button right here. So first you have Wi-Fi. I click on this. First, I can connect to my Wi-Fi. I will not show you this because I don't want to leak my password. So now I am connected to a Wi-Fi. Now I could disconnect. I can do Wi-Fi attacks. I could do target attacks, which would target a specific device like an iPhone, a Mac, a computer, and de-authenticate. I could de-authenticate um, like I, all devices. It tries to de-authenticate all the, uh, devices. De-authenticating is basically disconnecting a device from the internet, which is very annoying. And be hoppala, beacon spam, um, it just adds like fake Wi-Fi's and does like funny SSIDs, like when I click this, it just creates bun a bunch of funny websites like virus infected Wi-Fi stop. So here you have a bunch of other options like the evil portal, which I, you already saw in my other video. I name it free Wi-Fi. And I take like this. So this creates like a fake web Wi-Fi. And if I connect to that, I can show you. If I connect to this free Wi-Fi, it will open. It will open this and I need to log in with like my password and then my email. I will go to like a fake email I just use the next. It's not working. Wait, it's loading. Okay. And then I can search for this right here, one seven two. Here it shows you the email and the password. So, yeah. Here, just the email and the password. And if you want like other information, you just gotta type that in to the into the search bar on Google. So I can like do that real quick, why isn't So I just searched this right here. And now here's all the, the password and the email that I typed in. So that would be the evil portal. So next is Bluetooth. Here you have media commands. Here you so this like if you connect this to like your iPhone, if someone connects to your iPhone using Bluetooth, wait, I need to plug it in because of the battery. If someone connects to your to your M5 via Bluetooth, you basically have whole control over them. So I can show you right here, I need to leave real quick. First I can do the Bluetooth scan. So it finds a bunch of Bluetooth addresses. I mean, I connect to one, I could like, oh, yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. I can like connect and then Okay, it's um, not working because that device is probably not active right now. So I just downloaded a script. So I'll just run it. Bluetooth. Bad Bluetooth. Little FS. <clears throat> Hacker typer. Yeah. 
then I'll choose the keyboard layout and deploy. Now it automatically opens this website called Hacker Typer, and if I press some keys, it's just a funny prank. The other thing would be little fs again. The Wi-Fi hack, I don't know if it's working. M5 to Delhi. Wow, it actually worked. So the Bluetooth, bad Bluetooth was very impressive. So we'll move on. Okay. Next one is RF. So here you need these sub gigahertz antennas. I have these, but they are not working for some reason. So RFID is very interesting. I got this actually. So this is this extension module. So you'll just plug that in right here. So it only works one way like this. So now basically it's this and this. And I got some RFID cheap cards too. Here. So I will so here I can just go to RFID. Read tag, holds onto the tag, and here you can see, let's zoom in a little bit, so it detected the code and the device type, if I go to, if I click, oh wait, stop, I could do clone, so if this would be like an access card or something, this right, let's go out. If this would be like an access card or something, I could just go to clone. And I trying to put it away because it's scanning it way too much. So I could go to here and clone. And then I would like to hold this to the access card, batch reader, whatever, and then click on um, right, and then it would just open the door. Good. Infrared. Here we have the TV, TVB gone. I will... Um, I will put the clip right now where I where where, where I tried it on my um, TV. Go. Oh. So without the extension, I'm like two meters behind the TV, and let's see if it works. So I will start in three. Two, one. I can turn it off. And you move five meters away. I am five meters away. Let's see if I can turn it back. If I can deactivate it. No, it's not working. I'm moving a little bit forward. Four meters now. No. Three meters. It's working. Then there's infrared reader. So I bought the extension module. It's this one right here. It's like $1 on Ali, uh, Ali, Ali, Ali Express, I know. So let's go back. Infrared, infrared read. 
and I get something that's infrared. So these little remotes are infrared and it should pick. I can zoom in a little bit. So when I press this button right here, it should pick up some signals. Let's see if it happens. Yes, it's work nice. Um, it just captured this this OX1 signal, and then I could go to save. Like I could save it and then replay it, and then I could like activate one of these lamps I have or whatever. Um, so I also bought this infrared transmitter, which is way more powerful than the one right here. But this is actually really powerful. So let's say I plug this in again, discard that. No. Okay, let's just discard that uh, exit. So infrared, then infrared read. So now I will walk five feet across the room and let and see if it still works. Let me turn again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I kept it again, right? Okay, let's try more. This is very powerful if you like want to catch some signals from other person. One, two, ten meters. If this works, I'm really impressed. I don't know if it worked. Let's see. If <laughs> okay, didn't. Let's try eight meters. It worked. So, uh, let's see if it worked. I think it worked. It worked. So we found out eight meters is the maximum of catching distance. I think sending is even more, but yeah. So on infrared, you would have the config and the custom. Here you could like, Import, import data. I'll show you in a second how to do that. So this is like not very interesting. I don't have this, so it won't work. Others. So this is, I think, the best part about Bruce. Way what makes it way better than Nemo. So I just started recording on my PC. So you go to little fs. This is like the flash, I think, where you can like load data onto your little device, which you normally can't. Like you need an SD card, but even if you don't have this, it will work. So I just started the recording on my PC. Then you go click on little FS. Um, oh wait, so it's actually not little FS. It's web UI, so you can access your stick here over the web UI, over the internet, over your phone. You can basically control this. So you click on my network, then I won't show this. Then you need to connect to your um, Wi-Fi with a Wi-Fi password, but you just need to write it in one time. So yeah, it's not so difficult every time. So after you've done that, you can type in in your browser bruce.local and then you need to sign, the username is admin and the password is bruce, sign in. It's loading a little long right now, but it should actually work. It's 
plug that in so it gets power okay so now it works so basically you're asking yourself well, wow that's so cool but what can you actually do so if you like i i did these bad usb hacks in i imported a bunch of bad usb scripts onto this right here so let me just show you this Wait. let me just show you this so i searched bad usb scripts and then for flipper zero actually then you can go on this and like if you want windows 11 and then you can go to open youtube video download this right here um like download as txt that's very important save open it and i think that's maybe a rickroll i don't know then you can uh, drag this like to your desktop and upload it right here so it's uploaded now from here you could also download these files but yes you could also do um enter the web a password or do a command or reboot but now we'll just exit this and let's see in bad bluetooth what happens what we just imported so bad bluetooth um i just need to make sure that it's connecting to my pc little fs and now you can select this folder called open youtube video which we just imported uh, you can choose your keyboard layout now it's preparing okay it's connected but i think it's connected to my phone that's not good because then it won't work i'm hoping it's actually connecting so it's connected to my pc now then you just click M5 and let's see what happens. Yeah, it's just giving me an ad right now. But yeah, you get the point of what it is. Uh, it, um, the, okay. So yeah, that's basically what this does. You can import files for like everything. For like... You could import files for like um, bad USB, Wi-Fi, sub gigahertz, infrared. If you want to turn off like a specific projector and you like know what brand, then you could just search infrared files uh, for flipper. And then here you could go like to whatever you want, like to monitors and then like LG and then download this or go to projectors whatever you get my point so that was little fs but so i think that was like or that, that's like that's bad usb which you plug like into your pc yeah not found whatever here's the clock that's boring uh, connect you could like send files to like you could broadcast like these files to like i think it just sent to my pc i don't know <laughs> but i never used this in config it's just like brightness dim time ui sound sleep restart so i hope you like this long and specific review about the m5 stick made with bruce obviously I uh, hope you liked it and you can like leave a like or something. Thanks, bye.